got 145 million dollars burning a hole in your pocket well consider buying 1 gram of endohedral fullerenes this is knowledge simplified and you are watching the most expensive thing on earth if you had 145 million dollars to spare consider buying a gram of endohedral fullerene touted as the world's most expensive material proceeded only by the elusive antimatter endohedral fullerene could potentially change the way we keep time according to scientists at oxford university this wonder material could help miniaturize atomic clocks allowing them to be integrated with a range of portable electronic devices including smartphone gps trackers and so on and just so you know an atomic clock looks like this and it is extremely large so this would actually be a great achievement discovered back in 1985 endohedral fullerenes are composed of tiny spherical carbon structures held together in what is known as a buckminster fullerene formation also called buckyball the material consists of symmetrical cages of 60 carbon atoms with atoms of specific nonmetals like nitrogen helium phosphorus trapped inside it resembling a football in shape the substance boasts several impressive features believed to be the most accurate timekeeping machines present in the world atomic clocks have been around since 1949 due to their somewhat enormous size however these clocks have remained fairly inaccessible to the general public endohedral fullerene promised a future where tiny atomic clocks could be installed into our phones and other gps devices the technology could help develop gps trackers that are accurate to less than 1 mm that seems quite an improvement especially since currently available gps devices have an accuracy that ranges between 1 meter and 5 meters Just imagine what a great feat it would be if an atomic clock could fit into your phone. Lastly, from the theoretical perspective, endohedral fullerenes are technically the world's second most expensive material after antimatter, whose price is around an astronomical 61 trillion dollars per gram, which was estimated by NASA last year. But then again, antimatter doesn't really have any commercial application as of now, so there isn't a market for it right now. Well, that's it from our side. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind, and we'll see you very soon with more interesting topics.